Pacific, and the boat is back in Key West, and so we just wrote an email to a group of people that expressed interest in Happy Together, and I've been saving their emails for a year now since people know that we bought the 50, and I'm including the price and the specs and all the information. We're a little emotional about yeah, this because I'm, I'm about to push send on this. Somebody's going to respond. And then we're going to find out if somebody's going to buy the boat. And uh, it's just a little weird after three and a half years. So here goes. <laughs> Happy Together is here! So Lenny and I are walking around Key West and just being very nostalgic right now because we got married here 18 years ago at the Audubon House. So it's on this morning. We are, we just fueled up and went to the grocery store and we're taking off out of Key West. The weather does not look good, but we're trying to get to Fort Lauderdale within the next 24 hours and put uh, Happy Together back in Harbortown Marina where we took it away uh, three years and three months ago. Yeah. So really exciting trip for us. Clear? Yeah. All right guys, safe travels. Thank Thanks. You. Have a good day. So it's pretty rough out. And we've got get home itis because Happy Together is so close to home. It's really exciting every time you venture out of a harbor, especially when you're going somewhere that you haven't been in a while. We've done the Key West to Fort Lauderdale run before uh, on power boats years ago, uh, not on a sailboat, and we're pretty excited about it. I just wanted you to comfort me when I called you late last night, you see. I was falling into love Yes, I was crashing into love Oh, of all the words you sang to me About life, the truth, and being free Go ahead, Marina, go ahead This is Happy Together, we're a 48-foot catamaran it's, it's surprising, we haven't really cruised in the United States We, Lenny and I have never cruised the Florida Keys And we live in Delray Beach, which is up the street God, after a long day of boating, there's nothing better than a glass of rosé. So now the plan was we would take Thanksgiving week and get the boat back to Fort Lauderdale. But this nice couple emailed us and they said we want to buy the boat to we'll see it on Tuesday. So we're rushing the plan to get the boat back by Tuesday so they can fly in and have a look. It was not the right weather today. Yeah, it was not great. And there's tons and tons of crab pots all over the gate, so it's really stressful driving. Yeah, you have to actively steer yeah. the whole time. You can't put it on autopilot. Yeah. We couldn't do any paperwork or computer work or anything. Tomorrow we're going to run all the way to Fort Lauderdale. We should be there at midnight tomorrow night. All right, we're ready to go. We are leaving uh, Marathon, and the weather has improved today, so we're not going to have 20 to 25 knots on the nose and we should be able to sail by afternoon when we get up closer to Key Largo. What an exciting time to be bringing this boat back to Fort Lauderdale. Good night, what? Go ahead. So we just exited uh, Hawks K Channel, uh, excuse me, Hawks Channel in the Florida Keys. And now we're out in deep water and we're going to head out into the Gulf Stream and try to catch the current to ride up to Fort Lauderdale. And the wind is clocking around to easterly, so we'll be fully sailing probably within the next hour. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day. Blue water. I forgot how much I like the Atlantic Ocean. We've been in the Pacific for the last year and a half. But this is really my favorite ocean. This is like a series of laughs. This is probably the last breakfast that I'm cooking on Happy Together. Last night was probably the last night on Anchor on Happy Together. And the last bottle of rosé while doing a dinghy cruise. Today was probably the last time I raised the mainsail. I can go on and on with the lasts. 
now we're starting to empty out our personal stuff and separate things for taking off the boat. And so the mood is super melancholy right now and happy together. And he's cleaning up things and pulling things out of drawers. I know it's partially exciting because we've got the new boat coming, but I've never felt this way about a house or a car or anything. about five miles from the Fort Lauderdale Inlet and a pod of dolphins just came over and jumped all over our boat and swam in our wake and all that. So that was good luck if I've ever seen yeah. it. There it is. We are back in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> Landfall on the new boat. There are places I remember all my life. Though some have changed, some forever, not for better. Some have gone and some remain. All these places have their moments with lovers and friends. I still can recall. It's really weird to be unloading a boat, and it's probably weird for you guys to be watching it because we love this boat. Lenny opened this up and found all these stickers that we had gotten from from one from Delos, one from Bon Air, one from St. Bart's. There's a lot of mementos on this boat. Places that we've traveled. We arrived in Fort Lauderdale on Monday at 10 p.m. and on Tuesday at 9 a.m., a couple flew in from out of town and looked at the boat and bought it immediately. And they want to take delivery right away because they're on a two-year window to go do some adventuring and sailing. And they wanted a boat that was fixed up and done. And of course, they watched our YouTube channel. are the sweaters we bought in San Francisco 20 years ago. Yeah, they look like they're 20 years old. They've been on every single boat we own. Literally, they've got four boats about. We used to call these our happy together jackets. But now we have ones that actually say happy together. I still don't feel right about throwing these away. I'm having an emotional goodbye with my washer and dryer. And my friend, she's been great. She'll be great to the new owner as long as I take care of her. <laughs> Is she your favorite piece of equipment on yes, the boat? Yes, favorite piece of equipment on the boat. Today's the day. These last boxes and bags go into the pod, and then we are moved off happy together. Yep. So this is it. We're unpacked. We're getting off the boat. Goodbye to the happy together. Well, kind of, sort of. Kind of. Well, yeah, it's not closed yet. Yeah. But last night was the last night we slept on it. Yeah. And we've taken everything off. It's on the pod and it's gone to the next boat. So this is it. We're going to go home tonight and we're done with happy together until the next happy until together. Until the next happy together. Which is coming at you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> So
So we're here on Happy Together, and it's uh, just the first week of January. And Andy and Karen Crow, who bought our boat, uh, closed, I think, yesterday. So we're standing on Happy Together, and it's not our boat. But we wanted to leave them something. So, so we're leaving them a bottle of rosé. Hopefully they like it. We will miss the boat. We're sad. And now looking forward to the new one. Yeah. They're going to have a lot of fun on it, and they're great people, so we're excited for them. Yeah, we're really happy for them. So we're going to close the door and lock it right now, and we're going to get off the boat. And we're actually going to be out of town when they come back and take off. So it might be heading to the Bahamas and point south, and we may not see it for a long time. Goodbye, happy together. Bye, happy together. <laughs>